O'Sullivan 4-3 up. If he could win this frame, he would be sure of starting the evening session with a lead of some sort. Perfect long Eight. red again. Similar shot to a couple of frames ago. Screw into the pack. Screw back for the black here as well. Oh, perfect. Nine. Sixteen. Seventeen. I think it's important for Judd Trump to win one of these last two frames, isn't it? I think in these long matches, especially against Anna Sullivan in this kind of form, that if you just hang in there long enough, come the night session, your chances will come. So, as I say, important 24. that he finishes at the very least, at the, at the worst, sorry, 5-4 behind. Wouldn't want to be 6-3. You'd have to think that would be too big a start to give O'Sullivan going in this evening. So these next 25. couple of frames, massively important. Another precision cannon to leave himself on the back red. 32. Doesn't fancy the back red. Red to far corner. Yeah, he was playing for a choice of colours. Landed absolutely perfect in the pink back into perfect position. 39. It's not a formality, but uh, there seems to me to be a high probability that O'Sullivan will win the frame at this visit. 40. Forty-seven. Forty-eight. Fifty-three. Fifty-four. Sixty. The frame has gone just past the five minute mark and it's already gone. 
69. 68. 69. Yes, quintessential O'Sullivan this. Long red to start. Open open the bunch from his second red. Fluent, deadly. 76. 77. 84. Trump knows he's going to be 5-3 behind and won't want to be 6-3 adrift at the end of the afternoon. 85. Ninety nine. So it's this for his second century of the afternoon. to give this back to audience a big one here a big 105. century 106 137 virtually his first visit to the table today he can top that 112 with the remaining colours 114 Total clearance would amount to 139. 126. Sheer class. A total clearance of 139. O'Sullivan leads by five.